remember last time on the MacCast, we had a listener write in and had a couple questions about separating iCloud accounts. It was actually a couple who moved from sharing an iCloud account to having separate iCloud accounts. But one thing that they missed was the ability to have a shared set of synced contacts. And so I didn't really have a solution for that. And I reached out to the community and Rob answered the call with an answer that it was so simple. And I have to say, should have been obvious, but I just didn't think of it. And that that happens sometimes. And that's why it's great to have the community to fall back on. And so Rob wrote in and said, hey, you know what? You can have multiple iCloud accounts attached to your Mac. So why don't you just add another, why don't you just add the other person's iCloud account and then you can select and and choose the options for things that you want to sync. So, you know, you can have one primary account, primary iCloud account, and that's the one that syncs everything through iCloud. And it can be used for iCloud Notes, Safari, Photos, iCloud Drive, Keychain, and Find My Mac. But you can also have secondary accounts that allow you to sync things like mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, and notes. And, you know, I should have thought of this because I have multiple accounts already connected that I do this with. Now, for me, I really only sync email on most of those, but I could sync contacts and calendars and reminders, say, for not only my iCloud accounts, but also my Google accounts, right? You can do that with the Mac system, and they just show up as separate options within those apps. So it's pretty easy to do. You just go into System Preferences, Internet Accounts, and then add the the accounts that you want. You can add an iCloud account. You can add a Google account. It doesn't really matter. And then once that account has been added, you can check on which services you want to enable on that Mac. So if you want calendars, just check that. If you want to sync uh, contacts, check that one. So in this case, you can just sync, you can just check contacts on that account And then that account will show up inside that app in its own section in the sidebar. And you can even, in the preferences, set up a the default item, basically which contact account you want new contact records to go to. So in the case of this couple sharing an iCloud account, they can pick the one account and then choose that as the default. And then either person within their contacts when they add a new contact that's automatically going to get added into that shared account and it will get synced across via iCloud. So in essence, you're already or still able to share that main contacts contact and you could even disable the contacts on that primary account and only just have that shared account. So works really great. Like I said, it's supported by third-party services like Google, Microsoft, and Yahoo as well. So that is a great way to go. And thank you, Rob, for reminding us all that you can actually do that. I can't believe I didn't even think of it. But that's why we have the community. So thanks again, MacCast community.